How's it going guys? Um, I'm not going to say legends because I saw a meme saying that every YouTube calls their audience legends so I'm going to stop doing that. Anyway, I'm going to try and do one full uncut video today. Just a quick one, walk around of the rig. Um, I thought I'd just finish work, get into a lovely salmon coloured uh, singlet and we'll do a quick walk around of the rig. Um, okay, so we've got some big bog dyes here. Neg 44s. That's more dish than that Supra that we looked at on a few episodes ago. Anyway, you grab a lug for good luck. That's what everyone does whenever they see these tyres. Um, they're 100% legal, of course. Like I've said, everything on this channel is legal. If we jump on under here, we've got uh, a, legal, a legal height, fully legal height springs and 8 inch shockies. Um, adjustable sway bars, adjustable top trailing arms, extended lower trailing arms, um, swap the drive shaft around because when you put a bigger lift in a patrol you need to swap the drive shaft otherwise this end will hit your cross member. Or you can also run a cross member spacer, which uh, a gearbox spacer sorry, which sits in here and I did that and I wasn't liking what was happening. Anyway, now up the front we've got drop boxes lovely set of drop boxes here these are all the road safe stuff everything on the car is the road safe brand or whatever the equivalent is it it's because i want to make sure it's all up to spec uh adjustable extended sway bars at the front i used to have quick disconnects but uh, they broke the pins out when i went for being and forgot that they were in uh we also got the eight inch dobinson shoggies uh and also some nice flexi coils as well uh these are from auto one as is the shocks, the, the shocks and coils, uh, and everything else here you can get through Auto One as well. Um, what else do we have here? So another thing, when you're running big offset tires in a four wheel drive, especially when you have ridiculously meaty tires, you'll go through wheel bearings like no tomorrow. So that's one of the things we'll be checking next weekend. Is we'll be pulling this apart, checking the wheel bearings, and I'll show you how to check wheel bearings. I'm sure you fellas know how to do that. Okay, some big old driving lights up the front. We get put this up. Oh. Okay, that was a bit of an awkward angle for you. Okay, so we've got mod plate. Now, if you're going to run any sort of lift kits in that into Queensland, I know it's slightly different to other states, but in Queensland. To run the lift kit I have, which is a legal lift kit, it's a three inch lift kit, you need your LS9, LS10 and the LT2. I don't know what they stand for, I know that I did when they did them, but it's something to do with your different lifting heights and all that nonsense. Uh, it's just a standard three litre common rail, uh, contrary to popular belief, the three litres in the common rails aren't as bad as the earlier models. The earlier models were literally grenades and they weren't the best motor. Still, doesn't matter. You still need to do your NADS kit on it, a catch can, EGR block, snorkel, a uh, doors valve, which is down here. Um, this car's had every fluid done in it. I did all the servicing myself because, yeah, I didn't get it with a logbook. Anyway, uh, batteries are out of it at the moment. That one's dead. We've got two new batteries waiting for it to go in. Um, what else have we got here? Winch. Nice big old winch. I haven't actually pulled myself out with this winch. I've pulled my mate Matt out many a time in his Triton because if you buy a Triton, you're a tool. <laughs> Alrighty, um, what else we got under here? Lots of surface rust, but that's just cosmetic. It's all good. Um, I've rebuilt this front axle. of replaced pretty much every single bit on this car because it's a patrol and when it gets to a certain age everything falls apart. Rock sliders from Wildcat Engineering. Um, they're a mob out at Esk I believe. Now on the inside this car is a DX so it originally came with windy windows like the hand winders so I went and, oh it's hot in here I went picked up a full um, power window kit out of an ST off a of fella on a gum tree. Cheap, cheap, on the cheese, about 600 bucks, which is 
fairly cheap in the in the grand scheme of things. Um, if you ever do your power steering conversion kit, up in behind your glove box here, there is a relay. You need to just chuck a relay, in, or there is a bloody holder for a relay. You chuck a relay into there, your power, all your power windows at work. So that's that. Um, got some Jack Daniels gauge holders. Essential when you have any Forby, monitor your boost, exhaust temp, and oil pressure. Or you could also have an oil temp gauge as well. But I can, you can normally tell when your oil pressure is getting down low, your oil's pretty bloody hot. Um, got our King's throttle control unit. Uh, to be honest with you, I've got this thing turned all the way down because if you have it turned up, it makes the throttle really um, touchy. So they talk about it on their ads that they're they're great and they they make everything fantastic. I found I just found with my particular car when I had this hooked up and had it done up to the max level or close to the max level, it was that unresponsive you couldn't drive. It was it was ridiculous. So it was too responsive. Like you'd um take your foot off the accelerator and you'd just free rev. Um, BSE turbo timer which is what you also need we've also got some surround lights for camping um, big old shifter here because it's a truck after all I was gonna actually get an Eaton Fuller one here but I'm not that much of a tosser um, we've also got voltmeters for both of the uh, batteries button that connects them both uh, full driving stuff and a UHF which is what you need to have as well um, yeah also, all the doors have new speakers in it. There is amps under both the seats. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. But um, yeah, I wish, I really do wish that we were YouTubing when we were doing this car up because it was mental. In the back, we got subs and a few other camping, well, not camping, four wheel driving stuff, lights in the back and all that. Um, it's a pretty solid 4B, to be honest. Um, I was gonna originally throw a Duramax in it, but I looked at the price of that and they're like, 50 something plus grand conversion. So I decided against that and I looked at Cummins swapping and they're about the same price. Um, and then eventually looked at LS's. Um, an LS would be really awesome in one of these cars. But um, the fuel economy is through the roof. And if I want to use this for towing, I'd um, definitely rather throw that sort of money towards, you know, I'd be spending in fuel money, I'd rather throw it towards getting a Cummins or a Duramax. But when does the, you've got to think about it, by the time you've spent all that money on um, those sort of conversions, you're still only putting it into a car like this. Ah, oh, there's your lights and all that. So end of the day, I looked at it, was either spend 50k and get a Duramax for this, then have to spend all the extra money on getting it to, you know, legally do it all. and bigger brakes because you know you can't go throwing in a motor that makes ridiculous horsepower Duramax Cummins or even an LS um, and just expect it to pull up because these patrols don't pull up at the best of times um, I didn't look at the barras because I knew I was getting an XR6 turbo eventually uh, I have seen a lot of fellas with um, the XR6 turbo motors in the patrol and um, I, I haven't heard of the fuel figures, but I'm assuming you'd have to be close to what the LS's would be. I reckon a supercharged LS, like uh, Sam Ellis has done, I reckon that'd be the way to go on one of these, but then again, his fuel consumption is through the roof as well. Um, apart from that, it's pretty pretty tidy. Uh, we've got these cut snake flares, 80 mil cut snake flares. Um, they sit pretty pretty good I had to add this bit because I got pulled over and the police didn't like that they stuck out a little bit just the yeah was, if you're running this size tire it's not the best idea um, but then again it's not the most illegal car around anyway because it's fully legal of course um, yeah but that's that's it next weekend or this weekend coming up it all depends um, I'll do some work on this with uh, the boys but the main reason why we're doing this is because on on the 14th of this month, which I'll be putting on my Facebook page, there is a four drive show and shine happening at Auto One in Browns Plains. They're going to have flex ramps. They're going to have all sorts of. Oh, let me get the let me get the thing here. They're getting flex ramps. They've got all sorts of um, people coming out to do the stuff. They've got. 
They've got massive sales. They've got GME, Mean Mother, MSA, iDrive, Brass Monkey, Sony, Parkmate, I don't know how to say that word, Gulush, Gulush, uh, Bow Repairs, Core Lighting, Penrite, Tag Toe Bars, and Safari Snorkels. So all those files are going to be there. They're going to be doing all sorts of good uh, discounts, I'm guessing. Um, they're also going to have a charity barbecue there and a coffee club cart. So it's going to be pretty mint. I'm pretty sure Connor's coming. That's a big flight. God dang. Uh, Connor's coming and Jaden should be coming in the nav. So it uh, should be a good time. Um, but yeah, I've invited a few of my mates and I'll put it on the Facebook page and hopefully... We'll see you down there. I'll have this here when it's running. I'll put some stickers in the with me, so if you want one, just come up and say howdy, and we'll uh, give you one. But um, yeah, I doubt this thing is going to be the tow rig because we've got two <laughs> brand new cars that'll tow a lot better. When we had our old drift car, we did use this to tow a fair bit, and it wasn't too happy coming home. But we did have a trailer that was a bit heavier than what was really meant to be. But um, yeah. Well, I hope this one take, one take, unedited video was absolutely fantastic for you. Oh, look at me in the sun. Let's just go back here. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just a quick rundown of, of the rig. So I've only got two cars. It's everyone else I know has got more cars than me. But um, hopefully now that all the other boys have four-wheel drives and they've also got fast cars, it'll be um, a bit more content. We might go 4 being again. I used to do it a lot back in the day, but with all the uh, laws that have come around with four-wheel drives and they've cracked down a lot of state forests around here you can't really go bogging anywhere because you can get fined a lot and no one's got money to give to the government when um, <laughs> they're trying to have fun anyway, thanks for watching um, we'll see you next time hopefully we'll see you at the show and shine eh? um, have a good one, see you later